Hello everyone, welcome, Gakums here, and yes, I am back in Minecraft, and no, Eden is not with us today. She is at work, sadly. Mm, yeah, let's say sadly she's at work. <laughs> um, first I'd like to say sorry for the lack of videos this week. Um, I've been ill, which is not good. Uh, I've just kind of been laying in bed going, I don't want to get out of bed. I've sounded like a zombie, basically. <laughs> um, yes, uh, so I know we haven't actually finished the map me and Eden are playing, uh, that is because we kind of hit a problem and uh, we, I'm going to be f uploading the last part tomorrow, which would be Friday, uh, so sorry if you've been waiting for that, but um, today I am going to be having a look at a mod, um, it's quite a cool mod. Uh, the description in the 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 on the forum post says that it's over a hundred blocks added. I'm not sure if it says blocks or items, but it's over a hundred things added, and it is mine area. I don't care if that's spelled wrong. It more than likely is spelled wrong. Ignore the rest of that stuff. Um, so yeah, it's it's amazing. Ignore all this stuff. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I'll get to that soon. Uh, the first thing you'll notice, when you create a new world, you actually start with... Yeah, ignore that as well. <laughs> I'm so unprepared right now. You start with copper gear. Just like in... Oh yeah, so mine area is like Minecraft and Terraria combined together. Just in case you hadn't figured that out yet. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is copper stuff that you start with. It's it's exactly... Well, it, it's kind of... Oh, what the fuck is getting into night time? Damn it, I really am not prepared. Uh... It's, it's, um, yeah, you start with copper gear on Terraria, and so the guys decided that you should start with copper gear on mine area. I mean, I think it would be sound better be, to be called, um, TerraCraft, combining them, but putting it the other way around. But from the forum post I read, there's already a mod called TerraCraft, so it doesn't work. But one of the cool things that is added to it is this. Exactly the same as what happens on Terraria, you destroy a bit of a tree, and it all falls down. I have noticed that it is a bit OP, because uh, like, I kind of started running around in a forest. I mean, I spawned in a for uh, swamp, it's not a forest. I spawned in a swamp, and I just run around, and clearing this area, within about five minutes, I had three stacks of wood. So, it is a little bit OP, uh, but... There you go, that, that's one of the features that is added to it. Um, one of the many features. I've organised this house here to make it as easy as possible. But we won't go in there first. We'll go around here. So, these are some of the new blocks that have been added. Some of them, I think this is all of the new actual blocks. I'm not sure, but... Oh, this is version 1.1? One, uh, one? I'm not sure. It's 9.5, so... I'm assuming it's 0.9.5. The current version of the game is 0.9.7, but I had all this set up, I didn't want to update it in case it fucked up and I couldn't lay this map and had to completely redo it all, and that would have made me crazy. Get out of here, chicken! Fuck off! Where's my bloody sword? Get out of here! You're not invited to this party! It's not, we're not really having a party. Um, yeah. So anyway, these are the blocks that have been added. These are, as you may be able to tell, coloured brick blocks. Um... Which is pretty cool. Uh, that is a silver one. Silver ore and silver block. Copper ore and copper block. Um, that is a gem. Uh, we'll get to what they do in a minute. There's it's, it's going to be lots of get to there now. Get to here now and then we do. Um, I just made myself dizzy. But yeah, so that block is not made by these gems. Same with that one. Oh, fuck it. I've completely forgot. That's an obsidian one. That's a golden one. That's a... Red one, which I think is Neverrack. Yeah, Neverrack to make that. Uh, so I think, yeah, blue, purple, and green, you can't actually create. The rest of them you can make, but blue, purple, and green you can't create because they are dungeon bricks. And throughout the world, um, natural dungeon, not natural, they're not really natural dungeons at all. They're Terraria style dungeons that spawn in the world and they're pretty damn cool um there's only one problem they seem a little bit too rare i tried finding one on this map couldn't find one 
created a new map on creative, flew around for what seemed like an eternity. I think it was about 10, uh, no, not 10 Minecraft days. I think it was about five Minecraft days flying around and I could not find one. And this is spanned across two maps, so I gave up. I was just like, fuck this, I can't be asked. But I will show you what one looks like um, a bit later on. Anyway, so yeah, uh, so that's a gem, that's a gem, that's a gem, that's a gem, and that's a gem. I'll be able to tell you what they are in a little while. But these gems, just like the gold blocks, if you have nine of them, you can create them into blocks. Blocks. Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> so they're, they're cool new blocks, uh, cool decorating blocks. I'll show you what the gems do in a little while. Obviously you've got copper and silver. Uh, I'll show you what they do in a minute. Well, obviously copper is gear, but still. This one here is a meteor block. Now, if you've played Terraria, you'll know that meteors fall from the sky and go <laughs> and kill everything around it, and it's cool. Um, <laughs> uh, so, in this, meteors will fall. Um, apparently, they're really common, but I've been building this map for quite a while now, and not one has fallen yet, so... Yeah... I think one did fall, but I couldn't find it, because it made like a creeper explosion when I was building this house, and I was just like, what the hell was that? And then just ignored it. And this one is a molten ore. Uh, can I mine it with... Yeah, it's a bit weird, because it's one of the top tier items, uh, top tier ores, but you can mine it with a copper pickaxe, so it's a little bit weird. Anyway, uh, yeah, that is found. Obviously, as you can tell, it's um, kind of... Just got bits of gold or yellowy orange ore inside a nether brick, a uh, nether rack, nether rack, yeah. So you need to find it in the nether, really deep apparently. So it's very, very rare. I spawned it in, but shh. so yeah. To make the bricks, you've got obsidian. Oh, where's the first one there? To make the actual grey bricks, you um need four cobblestone together. To make obsidian bricks, just one bit of obsidian makes two bricks. Um, to make red hellstone bricks, for some reason, you just need a nether rack and a stone together like that, and it makes the red uh, the hellstone bricks, which is a little bit weird. I'm not sure why, but yeah, I mean, I'd stay. I I'd assume it would be a grey brick with that to just dye the brick or something. Same with copper ore to stone, gold ore to stone, and these yeah, these are the three that are uh, dungeon bricks. And that's all to do with the new bricks. So, that's a mushroom. We'll, we'll, we'll ignore that for now. Uh, yep, so to, for the gems, you've got sapphire, emerald, ruby, amethyst, and topaz. Um, God knows if they're pronounced right. Uh, but yeah, if you put two of them with an iron ingot, at the moment, I believe they're changing this soon, I'm not sure. You get a face blade! Oh, and diamonds, you can make one as well. Um, these things, how easy the gems are to get are well overpowered um they basically one hit zombies and skeletons and i, I tell you what it would be cool if they went vroom, 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 but they don't um yeah so these are like the most overpowered weapons in the game and i don't ever recommend making a white one because obviously diamonds in this game are a lot more useful than diamonds are in terraria but in minecraft they're a lot more useful so Never make a white one. I think they all have the same, like, strength and properties and all that shite. You know, uh. But yeah, so obviously, I showed you silver ore out there. You can actually make silver gear, just like in, uh, Terraria. So you've got all of the silver gear. It's all, it's all made exactly the same as, uh, normal gear, like helm would go in a N shape and all that shit. Before I skip on to anything else, we've got um, the molten gear for the molten meteor. Oh no, this is meteorite. So meteorite gear um, it only makes armor at the moment, apparently, uh, according to that anyway. <laughs> and then uh, copper gear. Not only do you have the um, kind of tools, you've also got armor that you can make out of copper as well, which is pretty neat. Pretty neat. I'm not sure of the strength of any of these things, so that's the thing. I'm not sure what. That I'm assuming copper is probably a little bit higher than. A little bit higher than leather, but lower than iron, uh, because you can find copper on the surface a lot more common than the other thing. I'm assuming silver is between 
kind of between iron and gold. It might have a bit more, a bit higher durability. I'm not sure. Uh, I really should have researched this by getting attacked by monsters, but I don't like getting attacked by monsters. Don't be silly. And then in theory, this is the end game stuff. We've got all the molten, molten armor and molten weapons. I mean. It's, it's going to take a lot to get all of that, and obviously it's all all of this stuff is created in exactly the same manner. Uh, but finding the Hellstone Ore is apparently as hard as fuck. Yeah. Now, this is one of my favourite things. I'm not sure if chandeliers is right. I know there's a spelling mistake somewhere over there, but it doesn't matter. Chandeliers. Now, I'm going to put these up, just because I haven't actually seen what they look like yet. But yeah, so chandeliers. To, to make the iron chain, you've got three bits of iron. Now, I ran out of space in the chest, so that's why there's two bits of iron there, to symbolise it goes in that one and that one. So you put three iron like that, and then the chain, and then the ore, and the torches. So let's have a look what they look like. Oh man, that is amazing. Oh, that, that, that just looks, that's pure win, that is. That is what you call win on a stick. Meh, yeah, it's kind of on a stick. <laughs> but yeah, they they are fucking awesome. I love them. Although I only put two torches on it and there's four. Interesting. Hmm. Anyway, that does not matter. They still look awesome regardless. Uh so that's that chest, that chest, that chest, that chest. Okay, right, cool. And now we're on to the final chest. Everything else. <laughs> so there's money in the game. Um I'm not sure hundred percent sure how to get this because I killed a few mobs. I didn't find any money. You've got potions, you've got mana potions that, um, yeah. Uh, they did have a mana bar, but they took it out, I think, because I don't fucking know. I don't read everything. I'm not a mad person. But yeah, so, to make the bottle for the potion, it's just glass in a U shape. Then you need gel, which if you play Terraria, once again, you'd know how to get gel. It's from slimes. Oops, sorry, just moving a little bit. A bit uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, so you get gel from the slimes, which he has added a few slimes into the game, so I'm looking forward to that. And fallen stars, which are slightly different to the Terraria version. These ones just kind of, I think they naturally spawn in world generation, so it's like you walk to a place and they're there. So they don't only spawn at night time, they can spawn at day, and they don't disappear when it gets to daytime. They just kind of hang around and go, hey, I'm a fallen star, look at me. Uh... Yeah, so th I think that's the only thing that the Fallen Stars use for at the moment to make a mana potion that does not. Can I actually use it? No, I can't even use a mana potion. Then you've got bottle gel mushroom to make a healing potion. Yay! And you don't get the bottle back for some reason. Which would be cool if you did, but I don't know. You've got dynamite, which, as far as I'm aware, you can't create. So I'm just gonna run. Run away! Oh no, next to the thing. It kind of bounces and slides a bit. Oh, I forgot I had a block of lava there. Oh dear. But it's got a very big explosion radius. 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 Radius, which is pretty cool. Um, but I think you probably only get that from the dungeon. I don't know. But yeah, explosions. Pretty damn cool. Can't go wrong with an explosion. Yeah, so you've got a star cannon. Which does nothing. I'll even get this star out and have a look if it does anything. Nope, can't click on the star. It just doesn't do anything whatsoever. Uh, obviously, when he gets it fixed, it's going to use stars as ammunition, just as bows use arrows for ammunition. Or oh, there was something that I'm assuming he's re removed, is you can make, like, copper, iron, gold, silver bows. But I tried doing it using the pattern that's on the website, or the forum post, and it didn't work, so I left it out. But it's exactly the same as making a normal bow, just instead of wood, you use corresponding material. Now we've got these things here, I'm going to leave lens here. Lens is a dropped by demon eyes, which I have not actually managed to see one, but that's pretty because I've been running around on peaceful building and setting everything up, so I didn't die and fuck everything up. <laughs> um, but they drop lenses. Uh, lenses are used to make glasses, but I don't think they have a use yet. If they do, I'm sorry, my bad, I didn't know. But you've got also a lucky horseshoe, which prevents you from taking falling damage, which is sweet. Diving helmet, which means you can breathe underwater. 
and an obsidian skull, which doesn't seem to work. Either that, well, he did say, if you're using too many items, don't take it out of here. So, I've probably broken it by doing that. But you can put it on your head, and it looks cool. Anyway, um, but he's also added an accessory slot and coin slot. So, you can just pop your coins in there. So, yeah, I don't know how to get coins yet, but, you know, you put, pop, pop your accessories in there. And if I just, fuck it. Build up in the middle of the air to this tree. I, in theory, can jump off here and don't take damage. And if I go for a little swim in here, in theory, I won't drown. I made a little hole just to test it. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, as you can see down the bottom, my bubbles aren't going down. So they're pretty cool accessories uh, that I believe you can only get from the actual dungeons. So they're quite rare. <laughs> Unless you spawn them in like I do. Oh, something I did notice is pretty cool. So obviously, if I was to destroy this tree now, it doesn't matter how you destroy it. All the blocks are going to fall down. Now, this kind of looks like a tree. What happens if I just do this? Oh, it worked. That was weird. Maybe it's because it was next to leaves. One second, if I just... When I tried this earlier, it didn't work. Yeah, so it looks like... If you want to destroy them like that, they have to be touching leaves. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Anyway, this is a mushroom. This is not how they spawn whatsoever. Um, I think they only spawn in the corruption, which is weird because I swear they used to spawn underground. I have no idea what they do. I know they look cool. And great, that's why my computer was running a little bit slow. It was scanning for new updates. Why well, can't? I hate Windows. Just open the chest in rage. <laughs> I don't know why. So, yeah, this this is um, a mushroom. Uh, in Terraria, if you destroy the bottom bit, it all fell down like that. I don't know what the mushroom stem does, but this part's kind of hung up there. And it's very resilient, blimey. I thought it might have been like leaves and they've just slowly dismantled themselves. But it, it, it gives nothing. But obviously that's how you get the blue mushrooms. Is it blue mushrooms? Oh, that's something I completely forgot actually. Oh, it's the glowing mushrooms. You've got glowing mushrooms and orange mushrooms. Obviously the glowing mushrooms in theory are from these things. Oh, I can eat the mushrooms. Alright, cool. And the orange mushrooms are... Just randomly spawn in the world. I swear there was one nearby, but I can't find it. I think it might be over there. Let's have a look. Spread. No, okay. Right, uh, you may notice there's some... Yeah, some farmland. Right, what that is, uh, I forgot to keep a block out. Probably for safety. In this update, he, the guy that's made it has removed the corruption. But you've got corruption... Now, I placed the block down, and wandered off, and built everything, and came back, and, as you can see, it spread, and it had spread pretty much all of, like, the middle of the screen was covered. It doesn't change trees or anything like that, all it changes is the grass, so I had to run around with my hole, I had to bang it with my hole, uh, to change it into normal grass. Now, it could be cool, I mean, he's now in the latest version. Corruption is back, and it does spread like fuck. So if you're not careful, your world will eventually just become full corruption, like all over. Be like, damn, this place used to be such a nice place. Now it's all corrupted. But yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a problem. I'm not sure if you can't. Uh, let's, let's have a look. Can we still build on it? You can still place stuff on it, so it don't really matter. There doesn't seem to be any much, much problem with it. There is this bug here, whereas when it's when they get placed on top, it doesn't turn into a normal dirt block. It stays as a corruption block, so... But when you destroy it, you do still get a dirt block now, where, which is one of the recent changes, actually. So in theory, there's no way to get these blocks apart from using this or single-player commands. Or whatever else people use. Um, for all the items, I believe that is everything. Um, I may have missed one or two things. Uh, obviously, these gems are found deep underground. Copper's found fucking everywhere. 
Silver, I think it's quite deep. I think if you can find gold, you can possibly find silver. I'm not sure if the gold gear in this is any better than the what it originally was, because it used to degrade really quickly, but in Terraria it doesn't. Uh, meteor ore is quite rare according to me, but you know. <laughs> and this is the rarest ore. So yeah, I think that's everything for the stuff he's added in. Uh, can I place this on the ground? Now, this one sec, let me find the actual... Chloe mushroom, orange mushroom. Oh, he's added vines in, which I'll show you at a later later point. Which won't be much later, actually. Can I place this on the ground to see what, show what they look like? Yeah. So this is what they look like on the ground. Uh, they do emit a bit of light, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you'll find instead of just one spawning, with what I found on this version, instead of just one spawning, they're all spawning a big clump of them, and it's just like, what the fuck? Why is there so many? And then you just punch it, and you can pick it up, but you can't place it. They don't seem to do anything apart from mana potions. Obviously, later on, they're going to be used for... Well, they'll give you mana back in theory. You'll be able to shoot them with the star cannon. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I'm going to go quickly change map to show off a couple of the other things I've added into the game. So, yes, yeah, so things I couldn't find on this map because I can't fly. So, yep, so I shall be back. In a second. <laughs> yeah, ignore the evil cryptic laugh. I'll be back in a second. And that would have made me crazy. Get out of here, chicken! Fuck off! Where's my bloody sword? Get out of here! You're not invited to this party! It's not, we're not, we're not really having a party. Um, yeah. So anyway, these are the blocks that have been added.